You're watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I am Curtis Anderson. Do not adjust your set. <laughs> we are green with envy today here on Shaw a &E. Everything green. I'm alongside Carrie Catherine. Here comes. Here comes the tie. <laughs> the green-eyed soul. Brand new disc. You got to be excited about this. I'm very excited. It's been a long time coming, and so it's going to be a great party. Now, you kicked things off 2005 with the album Venus Envy. Did quite well. It even uh, had some play on television shows such as Joan of Arcadia. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it was a, a really great... Uh, Great feeling to be tied in with something like that. So the bar has been set pretty high. Talk a little bit more about the new album and how it compares to the last one. Obviously this one, much better. <laughs> it's, it's totally different actually. We went about it uh, using a very different approach. Uh, my previous two albums were really produced, um, a lot of attention to detail and really refined. And this one is a lot more soulful and rootsy. Um, I recorded it with producer Don Kerr, mm -hmm. and he's a drummer. He drums for um, Ron Sexsmith, plays with the Rio Stanics, and it, he's just got such a soulful feel. And so some of them, the songs we actually recorded live off the floor with a full band and kept the entire takes. And so that was, that was a really new approach for me, but it was essential to kind of capturing that that soulfulness, yeah. You're a master of segues. You use the word refined. And we are <laughs> at the refinery. We're actually on the stage of uh, Animals and Plants, the current Live 5 production going on right now, which has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But uh, the brainstorm before we started was we said, we need to have something green in the background. So we hung up your green bag, yes, and then yeah. we remembered everything is going to be green. <laughs> so for all the viewers know, it's actually a white bag. But really, it is green. What's the obsession with green? Um, well, Green Eyed Soul, when I was doing Venus Envy, uh, there was, there's always this need to, everybody's asking, well, what kind of music do you do? Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you do? And I, I play soul music, but I come at it from a very different uh, background, a different geography. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think of soul mu music and you think of those, that hot southern climate down in the States in Memphis. And You're bringing it from the prairies. Well, yeah, and that's, that's the thing. So they had blue-eyed soul, and this is just another extension of that. This is, and you know, I have green eyes. You can't tell here. You can't but tell. Everybody's no. eyes are green. I know. So <laughs> that, was, that was it. It's just sort of, it's my own idiosyncratic take on soul music. I tried to go there with my last segue, but went somewhere else. We are at the refinery for a reason. Let's finally get to this huge multimedia performance later this month. Yes, I'm very excited. This performance is actually, it was supported by the Saskatchewan Arts Board, and it's a whole show that I've developed. I've worked with a um, performance coach. I've mm -hmm. collaborated with musicians um, and got a whole set together. And so I'm really excited to bring all these ideas together into like the one show. And it kind of tells a story as it goes along, right? It's, it's very much story driven. Mm -hmm. um, the idea behind writing this show, I mean, some of the album is incorporated, but largely it's music written specifically for live performance because people hear music differently in live atmospheres than they do when they listen to a record. And this story is about, I mean, it's, it's partially my own story, but it's about being from Saskatchewan. It's about uh, feeling the, you know, restrained by the place where you live, about moving away, and then that return home, which is a soulful one. So I love the ambition. I listened to the disc. You gave me love the disc. Uh, November 29th and 30th, right? Right here at the refinery? Absolutely, yeah. How can people get their hands on the disc? The disc is at McNally Robinson and Vinyl Diner right now, and they can also buy it on my website, carriecatherine.com. All right, there's all the information you need. 29th and 30th right here at the refinery. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And again, it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look green, people. Green. <laughs>